I put my fingers in there. He's not. Nothing. He only was just put on meat this week. This is the first time he's had meat. Once again, as I said, he's 12 weeks old. This is the first time he's having salads. He's got to get used to his harness. You know, we can use these guys over 50 pounds. That's a big tiger. You know, I have to have some control over him. I don't know for sure what this cub is suffering from, but all of those spots that you see on his forepaws and around his eyes and his ears and his toes and his belly and around his rear end, that's not normal. It looks to me like ringworm, and ringworm is extremely contagious. Anyone who touches this cat can bring home ringworm to themselves and to their own pets, and it takes weeks to get rid of with extensive medications. We see this so frequently in these cubs that are pimped out. They're kept in filthy conditions. They're handled by all kinds of people. And I'm sure that the people go home and don't even know where they contracted the ringworm from. But this is definitely not right. It's good. It's fine. You'll notice he's got a bit of a coarser fur than you would actually have. <laughs> Expect. We've had him since he was three weeks old, so he is not, you know, he doesn't really remember mom or the idea of being raised by a tiger. You know, we bottle raised him. Yeah. Ligers are great. They're really cool to see. They're giant. But I would never suggest breeding that way just because it's a lot of genetic issues. The males can't even breed. 